Hey, what's up, people? Pizal here, and this is the NECA Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface Resin Mini Bust, part of New Line Cinema's House of Horror. Now, I'm not sure how old or new this resin mini bust of Leatherface is. It just recently came across my radar. I thought it looked really cool. However, I hesitated in picking it up because during my research on the Leatherface resin mini bust, I discovered a number of negative reviews of it on Amazon in which people claimed that the Leatherface resin mini bust that they received was damaged, that the saw here on the chainsaw was broken off. Now, it was enough negative reviews claiming that their Leatherface resin mini bust had arrived damaged that I did not pull the trigger on the Leatherface resin mini bust. Then I saw a video from my buddy Phil over at Phil's Creepy Vids. I'll post a link to his channel in the description. Go over and check him out, in which he did an unboxing of the Leatherface resin mini bust. His was completely intact. I thought it looked really cool, and that motivated me to go ahead and pick up the NECA Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface Resin Mini Bust. Now, hopefully, mine is fully intact inside this box. We will find out very, very shortly. But first, let's check out the box. There is the Mini Bust on the cover. Very, very nice. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface Mini Bust. Uh, NECA Real Toys, New Line Cinema's House of Hara. Here's the side of the box. We got some nice close-up shots of the mini bust there. <laughs> Leatherface has a spare face on his back, you know. Never know when you'll want to change your face. There's a nice close-up shot of Leatherface. Yeah, very cool. Here's the back of the box. We've got another image of the mini bust. And we've got a write-up down here. This is the tragic tale of five young friends who venture into rural Texas one hot afternoon and become victims in one of the most bizarre and brutal crimes in Travis County history. Many of them meet a horrific end at the hands of the murderous lunatic Leatherface in what came to be known as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Very nice. So the other side of the box got a really nice close-up image there of Leatherface's face. It says Le uh, resin mini bust. Bottom of the box with all of the credits. Uh, this was apparently limited to only 1,500, uh, in which I got number 1,001. I looked on here for a date as far as the production date of the mini bust, and there is no date on here. So I have no idea, again, if this is old, if this is new, no idea. Uh, but there's the top of the box. Very nice. All right, so without further ado, let's open this guy up and let's uh, just take a look at him. All right, hopefully not broken. Hopefully not broken. Fingers crossed. Hopefully not broken. Oh, here we go. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, good, good, good. It appears to be fully intact. Let's get Leatherface out of his little styrofoam sarcophagus. And there he is. And <laughs> he's actually got some styrofoam stuffed in his mouth. Leatherface, my goodness. You got so hungry in that box that you decided to eat styrofoam. My goodness. That styrofoam cannot be good for you. Jeez. Leatherface was so hungry, he decided to eat styrofoam. Yikes. But uh, yeah. Got a nice layer of bubble wrap here around the bust and around the chainsaw. Ah, cool. All right, and it is fully intact. Let me get, <laughs> let me get the styrofoam. <laughs> He's suffocating. Let me get the styrofoam out of his mouth. All right, there we go. Leatherface's airway <laughs> is free. Look at that look on his face. He's like, oh, oh God. Oh, oh. <laughs> But he's got a he's he's got a pretty surprised look on his face there. Look at him there, his eyes wide. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Love the look on his face here. Got some nice detail in the mask, which is very cool. Love those teeth. Yeah, very nice. Let's check out the apron here, the tie. Got some blood splatter on the uh, on the apron. The tie looks really nice. Yeah, and the chainsaw. Check out that bloody chainsaw, baby. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Oh, yeah. And then we've got down here some, uh, we've got some skulls. We've got a severed hand. We've got like a rib cage. 
Um, we've got, looks like an animal skull there, and then some human skulls here. Just some random bones. Look like we've got a spinal cord here. Um, some more bones. <laughs> Leatherface's shirt is all kind of ripped up in the back. We've got that spare face back here, the pretty lady face. You know, like you never know when, you know, you'll want to swap out faces during the course of the day. You know what I mean? So always, always have a spare. And uh, more bones, more skulls. Um, this, I'm not sure if that's a back or if that's a front. Uh, not sure what that is. But bones, skulls, more bones, more skulls, severed hand, rib cage, spinal column. Yikes. This thing is pretty awesome. <laughs> it's pretty nasty and it is pretty awesome. And I'm relieved that my chainsaw is fully intact. Yeah, very cool. So yeah, this is a nice mini bus. Let's, let's, get, let's look around here. Here's the bottom. NECA, NECAonline.com, made in China, 1,001 out of 1,500. Pretty cool. Yeah, really, really, really nice work on this bust. You got some <laughs> styrofoam stuck in his hair. <laughs> All right, got the... <laughs> Got the styrofoam out of uh, Leatherface's hair. Um, but yeah, lots of nice detail in here as far as the, the face. Again, those eyes. That look on his face is just great. The blood splatter on his <laughs> on his apron. His cool uh, tie. The shirt's all nasty and bloody and wrinkly. Nice touch there. And all this nastiness going on here at the bottom with the bones and the skulls and the rib cage and the spinal column <laughs> and the extra ma the extra mask of course got to have like i said you know it's always better to have one have an extra and not need it than to need an extra face and not have it you know what i mean see so lots of cool stuff on here this is a really nice minibus and this was quite affordable too i'll post a link to the amazon listing of this minibus go check it out if you're interested in picking one up um yeah it was very affordable i thought and um it was actually pretty well packaged i have to say so i'm not sure all those reviews on amazon of people who got theirs with the saw broken off i'm not sure you know i don't maybe i just got lucky maybe, maybe me and phil just got lucky um, I don't know. God knows when it comes to the USPS, I am due some luck. Um, <laughs> if you guys don't follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, I recently posted um, <laughs> the new Arrow Video Weird Science Blu-ray that I got delivered to me, and it was absolutely obliterated. It was as if the USPS went out of their way to destroy that thing. Um, it's the most damaged thing I've ever received in the mail. And that's saying something, because if you're familiar <laughs> with my uh, USPS woes, when it comes to packages, you know, I have a lengthy, uh, love, hate, mostly hate relationship <laughs> with the USPS when it comes to my packages. But this Leatherface resin mini bus from NECA arrived in perfect condition, as you guys can see. Really cool bust. Really dig it. Again, if you guys would like to pick one up, I'll post a link to the Amazon listing in the description. Again, go check out Phil's Creepy Vids. Um, I'll post that link in the description as well. But you are really happy with, uh, with this Leatherface resin mini bust. He will become the centerpiece of my texas chainsaw massacre shrine yes i've got a texas chainsaw massacre shrine down here in the man cave which you guys will see very soon when i do the updated man cave tour video um but yeah very cool i've also got another very cool uh leather face uh, uh figure that i'll be doing a collector's corner video on in the very near future so keep your eyes peeled for that but yeah Really cool uh, NECA Leatherface Resin Mini Bust. Highly recommend it if you are a fan of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre or of Leatherface. So yeah, if you guys picked up this NECA Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, Resin Mini Bust, let me know down in the comment section below. Did yours come damaged? Did yours come in good condition? 
let me know down in the comment section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Join the A Buck A Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Kevin Smythe, Orc145626, B-Movie Mike, Robert Silbell, Turi Delamore, Stephen Flanagan, Lori Holt, Craig Farrand, Farron Sutton, Jeremiah Lambert, Grindhouse Grotto, Derek Janna, Demon Waffles, Simon Clark, Stone Gasman, Zachary Barton, Lauren Dixon, James Welch, Eli Geisler, Jeff Overing, Pete Toll, Cal McGuire, Jay the Stingray, Andrew McDonald, Dave Barnes, Jonathan Lundy, Chris Gonzalez, Trenton Bowser, Jason Breitenbach, Brandon Bisdick, Steak Sauce, OG Myers, and Mark Striano. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.